the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. God bless you, man. I had, we had a great study today. We're talking about the fact is that, and let me see if I can bring up the uh, the slide. But the main thing is this. We need to be able to encourage one another. We really need to make sure we don't be deceived to do and go to the contrary of the doctrine of Christ. There's so many things I'm looking at in the past, and the past discrimination, everything else. It's all because people said that it's more important to, to this, be deceived. It will be to be deceived, willingly not study the word of God, willingly not understand the doctrine of Christ, and start to go after the doctrine of men. Sometimes we talk about the different political parties. We would do, we'll go with the things of a political party where it's okay to hate, it's okay to discriminate, it's okay to do all the bad things. Because you think about it, some of these political parties start all the way from the Atlantic slave trade, start all the way from 1776, start all the way when this first country brought in slaves or brought in indigenous servants. And said those things that they do atrocities toward mankind. All the bringing division, all the bringing of strength. And then all of a sudden we went through the slave trade, the sex plantations, the, the atrocities, the, 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 the brutalization. It's just not acceptable and contrary to the doctrine of Christ. And I'm trying to sit there and say to you, let us do the things that make for peace. Let us do the things that are puts into the doctrine of God. So that's what the study is about today. The fact is, let's not be duped. Because so many people have been duped. So many people have been deceived. So many people have lied to and tricked to do things and ignore the teaching of Christ. I'm saying is, let's see what, and I'm just saying it right now. Go by what the Word says. Does the Word tell you to discriminate? Does the Word tell you to hate? Does the Word tell you to not forgive? Or does the Word tell you to forgive? Does the Word tell you to love? That's the doctrine and teaching of Christ. And if you are operating outside of that, and you feel that it's okay because you're approved by man, I'm telling you, it's not man that's going to get you in eternal life. It's not man's doctrine. It's not political parties, not the color of skin, but it's the love of God. Follow the doctrine, people. Study to show yourself approved unto God. Hey, have a great, happy Father's Day. Joy, Juneteenth, tomorrow, 19th. Juneteenth, 19th. Tomorrow, reflect on it. We've got a lot of bad things went behind those people getting to the point where they can celebrate freedom. And then that's appropriate to be able to have a day of celebrating the, 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 the long so that we can celebrate the right that we're all free. And yet, even though we had to make an amendment, we're all free so that on the 4th of July, we can all say Independence Day. Every man being independent to choose. And God gives you the right to choose. And that choice is life through Christ. Amen. God bless you. Appreciate you listening. And we'll see you when we see you. And don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'll break this down to like A, B, C, and D, as always, so that you enjoy. So enjoy the study. And I'll see you when I see you. God bless. Bye bye. Yeah, I got it. There it is. I'm, I'm going to bring something up. It, it, I got more scriptures to talk about it, but I'll use this one. This is the, this is the end time one. Uh, concerning why you can't be selective in thinking that brethren are one specific group of people. It says right here in Revelation, I'm using Revelation 7 9, Chris. Uh, it, it says, a great multitude from every nation. So it says, after this I beheld and lo, a great multitude which no man can number. And we're talking about the heaven now. Of all nations, 
and kindred and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb clothed in white robes, palms in their hand. Now, that, that's not hell, right? Now, can we, can I, can I get agreement that that's not hell? Ah, uh, yes, I can agree with that. And, and, and if we can get agreement that they are in heaven because that's what God is, and, 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 and they sat around the throne, right? And, and, and I was the part I've keyed into for those who do want to be selective. It says right here, Chris, all nations. That, what's left in all nations? Do you, do you know any? What does that mean? I think that kind of means everybody. <laughs> I think so, it does too. It, it, it says people. Maybe if you don't get nations, I guess you can put people. It says kindred, right? Oh, oh mm -hmm. and you even said different tongues, right? Yes, tongues, sir. Right? You could be Hispanic, you could be a Japanese, you could be a Chinese, you could be a North Korean or South Korean, you could be any tongue. I mean, you can speak any language, but but the, all I know is that all these will stand before the throne of God. So so when you say when you say like I say when people want to say brother, and then they want to just say these are my brethren, uh, that's not lining up with the full doctrine of the gospel. You know, I, I just want to put that in there. Uh, and and if, if you think anybody got any other one, I, I also remember in Genesis uh, chapter, uh, I think it's 18, 22. This one just started at y'all. I just want to make sure. It's, it's uh, 22. I'm gonna, I think it's 22. I think it was. Let me see where it was at. Uh, or it could be 22, 18. Let me try 22, 18. 2218. Uh, Chris, this, I'm going to read this one to you. 2218, it says, and, and, and it says people, just in case y'all have brethren, it says, 2218, it says, and in that seed, and that seed is Christ. It just gave you don't know that, because I can go to Galatians 316 and I'll tell you that's Christ. Maybe I do that anyway, because it's called studying, right? The Word of God, right? But Chris, it says right here, in that seed, all nations of the earth be blessed. Because thou art Abraham, obey my voice. What's, what's left, once again, that, does that line up with Revelation? That I just read? Yes, sir. Then it says all nations, isn't it? He yes, said, sir. and I see all nations of the earth shall be blessed. And just in case people didn't know that, Chris, I just, I, that seed, he said that seed, right? <laughs> he ain't talking about Abraham, but he's talking about his seed. He said in Galatians 3, 16, I mean, 3, 3, verse 16. Can you see these scriptures? Yes, sir. I can see him. Can you, can, do you want to read 16 for me? Let me see. Which one you want me to read now? 16. 316. 16. Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. He saith not. And to seeds as of many, but as of one. And to thy seed, which is Christ. Yes, sir. Now, the, we just read what he said, in Ab he said, Abraham, in thy seed shall what? All nations be blessed? Right? That's what I read first. That 2218. Just, just in case you, you, you didn't catch that, I just read what thy seed is, right? Because yes, sir. Genesis 2218, which you just we just read, said Genesis 22 just 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 put that respect of those who want to just limit their brethren is what I know that's what I'm trying to get after uh, 
2218. You, you can read that for me. That, that'd be the last one I asked you to read. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast observed my voice. Obey my voice. I have obeyed yeah. my voice. Now, who he's talking to? That's Abraham. Yes, sir. That's Abraham. And he said, Abraham, in thy seed shall all nations, all nations be blessed. Right? And then yes, what sir. you just read in Galatians, he said, and to Abraham, he said, in thy seed, that seed is one, not many. And that seed is Christ. Right? So yes, sir. when I'm talking about brethren, and that's the whole purpose I was bringing it up. When I'm talking about brethren, this is the scripture that we was looking at. I was talking about the fact is that uh, when 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 he was reading this script, when I was reading the scripture earlier, he says in John, First John, this is the bottom slide, bottom paragraph, and we know that we have passed from death unto life because we love the brethren. The reason I wanted to make sure that the brethren cannot be one group of people or a specific group of people, because when I just read all those other scriptures, it was talking about all nations, kindreds, and tongues to go around the throne of God, correct? I sit there and said that God said that Abraham in that seed shall all nations of the earth be blessed. We, we talked about that, right? And then and then the, that seed is talking about Christ. Meaning, people, don't try, no matter how hard man wants to do this, this isolation, you know, from white supremacy to white nationalism or black nationalism or Chinese nationalism, any other nationalism. When it comes to the doctrine of Christianity, he's talking about all nations, tongues, families in the earth that that's what he's going after when he said he will all men to be saved he's going after all men you see what i'm saying chris it, it doesn't matter whether you whether you are black or white it doesn't matter whether you're jew or gentile his will is for all men to be saved that's his will I'm not saying every man is going to make that choice, but I am saying that that is his will. Then as a believer, we're supposed to execute his will, right? In other words, I don't supposed to make a, what you call it, ostracizing or, or exclude people. I'm supposed to include people. Yes, but they gotta, but they, they're allowed to make a choice. I think we both agree with that. Everybody has a choice to make, but it's not my will to contradict God's will, which is to bring them in if they want to come in. And then here's the one I think I hate the most part, not hate, but the most part is when people get offended because somebody don't want to come in. You know what I mean? They, they don't, don't get offended because they don't want to receive Christ. Don't get offended because they want to be a Muslim. Don't get offended they want to be an atheist. You don't be offended. Is there a reason why you should be offended because somebody chooses not Christ? Do you do you know? No, not really. If they are not doing any harm to you. <laughs> Come on, bro. That's the whole point, right? If you you can choose what you want to do. All I'm doing is I, my hands are clean. Our hands are clean. When we sit there and say that God loves you, He and Jesus is the way, Yeshua is the way, you make that choice. We, we're not trying to exclude, we're trying to include, because that's our job. But I'm not gonna sit there and become hateful, mean, and bigotry, and anything else because you choose different. And I'm not gonna create a social construct that gives me the right to bear bad and corrupt fruit. And that's the part I'm talking about saying. There's, there's no reason to, to do harm to your fellow man. Chris, after Chris, you said that's Chris, that's a great bastard in prison right there. You, as long as you ain't hurting me, I ain't got no problem with you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You you yes, can sir. you can choose you can you can choose and say the, 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 the moon is purple. It ain't hurting me. 
It don't make a difference to me what you believe is the blue and the purple. It doesn't make a difference you know, if you don't believe that God is real. It doesn't make a difference. I'm not going to get offended by that. But yet, people get offended. People discriminate. People do bad things. People, you know, uh, ostracize people. And people run people from the church because they bring that junk in. In other words, the church is, I mean, you know, I don't know if you remember that, that parable about the terror and the wheat. It, it, that, that's where they, they both grew together. And, and, and they said, don't, don't tear it up because if you tear it up, you're going to pull the other roots up. What we got, people, is a lot of terror in the body of Christ. We know we got terror in the world, but we got terror in the body. Or, excuse me, in ministries. Not so much in the body, but in ministries. That is causing and choking the gospel. And people run away from the gospel. And I, and I just want people to stop being this duped and, and thinking that you have the right to, to hate people and discriminate people because you don't. You know? And it just, it's, just not, it's just not right. You know, in John 3, 16, it says right here, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Then whosoever. Now, maybe maybe you can give me a baptism on whosoever. What, what is a whosoever in your opinion? Now, I hate to bug you, but since you're there, let me ask the question. Yes, sir. Who, whosoever. What, what, what's, what is that? What, what, what well, does that mean, whosoever? That's a pretty... All inclusive word. I say it that way. I think so, so too. Yeah, huh? yeah. That, that 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 you remember that. Once again, I'm going after that. People want to be selective, you know. Mm -hmm. People want to sit there and create this social construct and, and think that the social construct only applies to a group of people. I'm telling you that people that's contrary to the doctrine of Christ. That that's that's really what I'm trying to point out to people. Let's stay within the doctrine. The doctrine does not discriminate against people based on color, nationality, based on where they where they're coming from or whether they're an alcoholic or whatever. He's not discriminating against that. He's trying to say anybody whosoever wants to believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God said not his see, here's the point I think. And this is what I was talking about. You know, my title was talking about ignore the teaching of Christ to condemn and judge others. This is what the this is 17. I guess a lot of cases everybody fixed on 316. Most people can quote 316. But they ain't gonna quote 17 and 18 or 19 or 20 or 21. But yes, sir. those those apply. He says, For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Saved. Not, 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 not a white man, not a black man, not a Chinese man, but all white men, all black men, all Chinese, all whatever, might, and see that's a good key word right there, might be saved, meaning they might not choose to be saved. Yes, but that's sir. not my problem. All I know is that his doctrine is said is that he sent his son not to condemn the world. And I don't know how, because, and I think, tell y'all, I was sitting there at the, this is, this is a side rabbit trail real quick. The, I was reading the article, and I think I may have sent that out to you guys. I sent a lot of stuff out when I get it, because I thought it was, I think it's worth noting. The first black preacher, there was a day, was a day by his master, his slave owner. And I wonder that the reason they were ordained by them so that they preach the depravity, the sin nature of black people and preach against, you know what I mean? The, I think that 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 because you know, like in some cases, in some churches, right? They, they, they sometimes have a tendency to to preach about sin, you know, and 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 preach about 
the shortfalls of, of their own people. And, and, and then act like that shortfall doesn't apply across the board, right? They, 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 they don't forget about all these other people. We just want to talk about y'all. Y'all, y'all, you're sinful. You're, 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 you're no good. <laughs> you're going to hell. <laughs> now, and I wonder if that's something that was institutionalized into our culture as far as church. Because it, it has a tendency to have that flavor. It, it, you kind of pick that up sometimes. Like, you know, the disqualifying was, was what, what you were seeing. Because um, I, I don't think it was preached to the other people, right? You know, the people was doing the, the they had the, the, the sex plantations. You know, the people that was raping. They, they, yes, sir. They, 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 the slaves. Uh, killing the slaves. People, I'm telling you, I'm talking about even the people that sit there and talk about the birth of a nation. When they, they mm -hmm. sit there and did the burning and the killing and all that other stuff. And that's, I just wonder, it, 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 not just maybe just black people, just white, poor white people too. This, we, well, maybe not to them because I don't know, I, how could they not preach against the, that hate and killing yeah but like you say you you brought up a very very good movie or good i'll say it's a movie because that's how they treated it it, it was yeah um like you said that's the birth of a nation so therefore your your nation was built on hate Whew. not on the doctrine but on hate built on hate like you said so 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 all that like you said and they told you that they did. Yes, did. and every time, that's why, believe it or not, I got a problem with this Juneteenth celebration thing. Mm. Because they, because, because of the, the fact that they, they didn't let these people know they were free. Yes, but I'm, I'm talking about the, the way we're going now. It's a national holiday. Okay. Uh -huh. I, 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 I ref. I do not like, or I am not comfortable with the way they're trying to celebrate it on a national level. Got it, okay. We gonna throw parties, we gonna have fun, we gonna get out of here, we gonna have all these singing groups come out and do all this. And all of a sudden, especially, this is what really caught me, CNN is gonna have something tomorrow called the global celebration of Juneteenth. Global? Global. Yes, they have already put the word global in. They have packaged this up to turn it into a commercial item. Mm. I didn't know that. Been, yeah, uh -huh. it hasn't even been a national holiday two years yet. Yeah, and they have exactly. And, see, and they have trivialized it already. Hey, did you notice that they had uh, they said that more people travel uh, on this holiday than, than, than I guess, than, you know, like, even the 4th of July, but they did say this this is the traveling. Yes, now is, here's the is, thing. Go ahead. I will say this because you know, I, I did a little, I'm doing a little research on, on, on this Juneteenth thing as well. This is basically been our homecoming day forever. I heard, we have yeah. always, as blacks, mm -hmm. usually plan reunions, homecomings around mm. this time. This is what we do. Wow. That's why you got your high travel number. Okay. You think we've, it's mostly? We've always used this. And specifically, if you go out in Texas, like I said, this has been almost like you say a Texas holiday for black for since the beginning. Yeah, because they they the one that fought for it, even after yes. they were told. First of all, they lied. Yes, sir. <laughs> they, they lied yes, to sir. the people. Yes. They said they said you ain't you ain't free. Yes, and then the thing is, they want they want people to think that for them two years. Those blacks in Texas just sat there and said, okay, we cool with this. 
Mm. No, a lot of black folk died behind that. They did. They did. A lot of uprisings. Mm. A lot of stuff was done. The yeah. only reason they sent that general, I can't remember his name, down there to say, okay, y'all free, is to cut down the killing in the fight. Yeah, yeah. He, I, 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 I sent out a TikTok to you on that yesterday, Tanger, uh, or, or a YouTube video on it mm -hmm. yesterday. That talked about it, because that, that, it gave a lot of good background in saying that even the, the Southern Confederate soldiers said that had surrendered. Uh, took upon themselves to go after the free uh, people in yes, uh, Texas to say, how dare you sit there and try to say you free and and, and, mm. and have a while to work in free labor, you know? And yep. the bad thing about it, they, was, they, poor, they were poor people themselves, the white people. Yes, sir. And, and, and they gonna sit there and, and go after people that were working for a rich man and say, why are you working for that rich man for free? You know? Uh, so yeah, they caught hell. They did, people, for this holiday that's, that's happening. They caught hell. Uh, and he that doubteth is damned if he eat, because he eat is not of faith. For whatsoever is not of faith is sin. And that's, that's what we want to close up with. And that's what I want you to remember is the fact is we don't judge and condemn one another. We love one another. We work with one another. Amen? All right. So thank you for listening. We'll probably cover those scriptures again uh, next week if the Lord's willing. But the fact is, don't be duped. Don't be deceived. Trust in God. Love one another. Encourage one another so that we can all be on high. As all nations, all families, all tongues, all genders. Let's not take the man construct because man construct, social construct, can send you to eternal death. And I fear that so many people, especially since the Crusades, all the way up to now, generations and generations, I'm afraid. Some of those people are not the body. Bible says absolute Bible says absolute body is present with the Lord. That's only if you're in the Lord. And the Bible says a tree is no less for you. Amen. Hey, we all got things to work on. But the main thing we can at least work on is not to condemn one another, but encourage one another. That's what I want to say. God bless you. I appreciate you listening. And I see you when I see you. Have a great holiday. Happy Father's Day. Happy June 19th. Enjoy. Reflect on it. And rejoice. Freedom is for everyone. God bless you. Bye-bye. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.